Today we are going to learn about a drama romance film called Prime from 2005. David, a 23-year-old talented artist, shows his paintings only to his close friends. He is convinced that his paintings have no value, as his family is categorically against his painting, which has become the meaning of his life. David's family believes that he is bound to become a successful lawyer or doctor. At the same time, 37-year-old Rafi is very upset because of the just-completed divorce proceedings and separation from her husband, with whom she had been married for nine years. In order not to completely despair, Rafi visits psychotherapist Lisa and shares all her worries and problems with her. Lisa advises the patient not to dwell on the past and to look to the future, starting her life from scratch. Instead, Rafi is fully immersed in his career, holding a good position in a prosperous company with an office in downtown New York. David leads a fairly carefree life and spends time with his best friend, Morris. His friend has no luck with girls. Wanting to take revenge on another beautiful girl who rejected him, Morris throws a large cake in her face, after which the friends have to run away from the girl's formidable brothers. In the evening, Rafi and David cross paths by chance at the movie theater, as they find themselves mutual friends, despite the 14-year age difference. The two of them immediately feel a mutual sympathy, and they look at each other several times during the movie. Returning home, David can't get the attractive woman out of his mind. He gets her phone number from his friends and wants to call her. However, he is afraid of rejection and does not dare to do so. Eventually, David dials her number, and Rafi immediately recognizes the young man's voice. The guy admits that he really likes the woman and asks her out on a date. Rafi gladly accepts the offer. The next evening, the two meet for dinner at a restaurant and quickly hit it off. After a wonderful evening, David walks Rafi home. The two tell each other about their hobbies, and feeling mutual sympathy, they kiss tenderly. At the next appointment with the therapist, a happy Rafi tells about her date with a young man, only she is lying about his age, which is 27. After listening to the patient and seeing how well she has started to feel, Lisa hesitantly advises the woman to continue communicating with the nice young man, despite their age difference, because all ages are equal to love. The relationship between the two lovers develops rapidly. David and Rafi have several wonderful dates, after which the woman invites the young handsome man to visit her expensive apartment in Manhattan. David sees that a rather expensive and fashionable painting hangs on the wall, and he appreciates the girl's good taste in art. The couple is very much attracted to each other, and they are passionately engaged in gymnastics in the kitchen. Happy David returns home. He tells his mom that he has met a wonderful woman, but he also lies that the woman is only 27 years old. It turns out that the boy's mother is a psychotherapist, Lisa, who does not realize that her son is dating a patient of her age. Lisa asks David about her hobbies, but it is impossible to understand from her son's answers that he has fallen in love with Rafi. David and Rafi are not at all embarrassed by the age difference. Their communication is very easy and unobtrusive. The guy helps the woman to come to her senses and recover from a difficult stage in her life, and Rafi helps the young handsome man to believe in himself and that his paintings are really beautiful, as his close people have been condemning his strange hobby for many years. In this regard, a real flame of passion flares up between two such different people, and they decide to take up gymnastics again at the first opportunity. Experienced Rafi shows her young boyfriend how pleasant the relationship between a man and a woman can be in bed. Rafi is used to sharing her most intimate secrets with her therapist, and she tells Lisa in detail about her love experiences without hesitation, and Lisa is happy for her patient who has finally regained her taste for life. However, over team, Lisa realizes from the patient's stories that Rafi is dadding her son. Lisa finds out for sure with a few leading questions, which shocks Lisa and forces her to make a choice between her work and her maternal feelings. Lisa even has to seek counseling from another therapist, who advises her to continue counseling Rafi as long as the relationship between the couple resembles a mere fling. Lisa calms down because she is sure that her son will soon get bored with an older woman. David takes Rafi to his art studio and shows her the paintings he has made inspired by their relationship. The woman is completely delighted with what she sees and wholeheartedly praises the guy's talent. The couple has a romantic dinner, which ends up in bed as usual. Inspired by her relationship with David, Rafi feels like a young and carefree woman again. She puts on a revealing outfit and goes to her next session with a therapist. Rafi tells Lisa about some very intimate moments in her relationship with David, and Lisa can barely contain herself from saying something in response because it is her son. At home, David packs his things and explains to his mother that he is going out of town with his friends for a few days. The same day, Rafi comes to Lisa's session and tells her that she and David are going on a romantic trip for a few days. At this point, Lisa realizes with regret that her son has lied to her. The couple's trip is going great. They spend many wonderful days together and enjoy each other, However, a few weeks pass and David begins to be indifferent to Rafi and she does not understand what is happening to him. 
At the same time, Rafi wants to have a baby and realizes that it's time for her to think about her own future because David lives a carefree life, not really caring that he has to provide for his family. Rafi tells the therapist about the problems in their relationship and calls David too immature. Lisa realizes that it's time for her to come clean. She confesses that David is her son. This news shocks Rafi because she shared her most intimate secrets with Lisa and the doctor remained silent all this time and used what she heard to control her son's life. Upset, Rafi leaves the office and Lisa immediately calls her son and tells him that she knows about his relationship with an older woman. David is also very angry to learn the truth because his mother has been learning all his deepest secrets from Rafi all this time. Due to the accumulated disagreements and problems, David decides to end his relationship with Rafi and abruptly tells her. However, after a few days, David realizes that he misses his beloved woman very much. The guy offers to resume their relationship, but now Rafi thinks it's time for them to call it quits. After what happened, Lisa can't find a place for herself and asks her colleague for support. A couple of weeks later, David and Morris are walking around the city in the evening, drinking drinks. The guys decide to have fun in a nightclub, where David dances with the pretty Sue, who is Rafi's colleague. When he wakes up in the morning and sober up, David realizes that Sue is in his bed, the same day he meets Rafi by chance in the supermarket. The two realize that their feelings are as strong as ever. The lovers immediately go to David's house, where they are passionately engaged in gymnastics. The two not only resume their relationship, but David even decides to invite Rafi to a family dinner, where she hugs Lisa and says she misses their sessions. Lisa accepts her son's choice no matter what, but she can hardly contain herself when she learns that the couple is planning to have a child. A few days later, Rafi accidentally finds out at work that David has been doing passionate gymnastics with Sue. The guy tries to justify himself and says that he did something stupid, but Rafi doesn't want to hear anything, and she breaks off their relationship. Devastated, David turns to Lisa for help as a mother and psychotherapist. The woman sincerely advises him to apologize to Rafi because she helped him to believe in himself and to truly discover his talent as an artist. David waits for Rafi in the entrance and begs her to forgive him. He tells her that what he wants most in the world is to have a child with her. She forgives him and realizes that he is ready to make serious sacrifices for her. After that, the two of them gently do gymnastics in bed. However, Rafi convinces David that love alone is not enough to sustain a relationship and start a family. They eventually break up. A year later, David spots Rafi in the same restaurant where they had their first date. The woman also notices her ex-boyfriend. The two of them smile gently at each other and part forever, keeping only fond memories of each other.